Hey folks, Quilly Team here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Styles 4. We are Croatia. We've got kind of funky borders over here. At some point we still want to eat this silly little country here and there's some bits of Bohemia left in there that I intentionally left in just to make Bohemia's life that much harder on them. Last episode we we're talking about maybe, maybe going after the Ottomans here. We do have a lot of troops. And their tech level is pretty good. Quantity ideas. But we should be able to bring France in. Which does sound pretty swell. And we will have a lot of manpower. And we can bank up some extra money so we can go over our force limit. Oh, their war just ended? Their war just ended. No, that's too bad. Fewer distractions. On the other hand, that might hurt their... Um, their stability, if they just took a bunch of territory, which I think they just took some in the south. I think it's unchanged over here, but I think they took some in the south. I'm not sure. That is actually quite interesting. Um, what kind of navy are they packing? Probably a lot. Do we get the actual breakdown? No. 101 ships. Yeah, we probably can't fight them at sea, so if we do fight, I'll probably want to dock all my ships. Hmm. Knowledge sharing, okay, good for them. And we're still a little bit far for the institution spread. Not that we we're really worried about it too much. Come January, we might be able to get the Diplo tech here if we're worried about capping out. France has embraced global trade. Unpopular mathematician. Lose prestige, gain innovativeness, or gain prestige and legitimacy. Well, that'll overcap our prestige, but it's not the end of the world. Innovativeness is kind of nice. I guess I'll do that. Oh, I was wrong, but between legitimacy and prestige, actually. That's getting these two icons confuzzled. We have 10 innovativeness. It's kind of nice. And it's going up because we are ahead of time. Always good to see. Yeah, so we get our next ID group after that, but it is pretty far away. Lose army tradition and loyalty, gain corruption. We can just pay off the corruption, so that's definitely what we're going for. Um, I'm going to wait for January, if I'm going to hit that at all. <laughs> Which maybe... It's going to depend when I'm going to want to go and embrace. Not spreading as quick as I'd like. I could just spend more and embrace. So either I'm going to have to wait a while before we embrace... Or I'm going to have to make sure to save more aggressively. I think what's going to happen here is I think I will go and, and take this Diplotech come January. Because we still have the plus 10%, but we also have a minus 10% right now. I'm going to go ahead and take this. We're only paying a 3% premium, so it's nothing. The big thing that's going to limit us, because now we're ahead of time on everything, right? So now it's apocalyptically expensive. I mean, we will be able to go over 1,000 because of the way the institution tech penalty costs change, but it'll be a bit of an issue. And it is admin that's going to hit the limiter first. Yeah, definitely admin. Um, we could sink the admin points into a little bit of development. We could also just go up to stability 3. I don't know if that's really what I'm interested in, but perhaps... Uh, we could also use it for a lot of Force March, which is something. Yeah, we want to get rid of this. There we go. And then later on, we're going to want to get rid of this one as well. We just need their happiness to go above their loyalty, or their influence, which is not where the equilibrium point is. So we may have to do a little diet thing, or wait for an event to pop in, which is possible. Land of Commerce does actually lower... Their loyalty, oh, because, yeah, because they're a little bit more independent. They don't they don't feel like they have to be loyal the same way. All right, we're nearly capped. So, if we want to declare over here, now France doesn't want to join in because they're wickedly in debt and fighting another war. I mean, um, yeah, so even with a preparation, we can't, we're going to have to wait for that to finish. Uh, Denmark, they started the war. I'm going to say yes. I don't want to lose more prestige, really. I don't want to give them more influence. Although it doesn't, their influence doesn't matter anymore. You know what? We'll do that, and who knows? Maybe it'll pay off for us later on. Stop drilling, stop drilling. 
Yeah, this war is not relevant. Can I walk any of these places? Not right now. Some people might ask for some access rights. Um, this is, yeah, end of the game, improved fortifications, absolutely. Seems great to me. There we go, just gonna move. Oh, we got our Catholic Uprising. Well, I'm gonna move you up still. Because you're not gonna have the morale for the fight anyway. And this one should by the time it gets there. There we go, another tick, and just better numbers. So yeah, we'll finish you off. There we go, just before you finish your siege. Which could have been a little bit annoying. Brandenburg, who would ally me? Interesting. I don't think we will. Hmm. Or do we? Uh, we are two above our limit right now. Oh yeah, well, because of Brandenburg's military axis. Um, but that's temporary. That is kind of interesting, because that would be uh, good against Bohemia, but I don't think we need you. Especially since we keep using... Uh, France is our attack dog over here. That's going to be slow. That's going to be fast. This one doesn't have that many cannons. It does have some. It'd be nice maybe to have two stacks of... Actually... Hang on. We can do that. Two stacks of ten. There we go. I forgot I had fifteen in this stack. So there, we have two perfect sieging little armies right now for the tier 2 forts. Not the tier 4s, but not that many people have upgraded all their stuff. Um, yeah, you're clearly not going to attack me. Siege done. I'll just siege this just to say. So, Dorped. What is Dorped? Oh! Oh, Denmark's over here too! Yeah, alright, I guess that makes some sense. Costing us a little mind power, but that's okay. Like, it turns out this timing's working okay for us to just help out one of our allies right now. France is busy, so we don't want to call them into a war. This is a okay. Give me it's keeping me busy and entertained while I wait for a better timing for some other stuff. Uh, yes, please, on the conversions. Thank you very much. And I'm probably just banking for um to be able to do the institution at a good timing. Don't we need declaring war and not calling me in? Good on them. They're feeling confident. Oh, yeah, we need a uh, reinforcement tick to get our cannons back up there. That attrition in winter, man. Adding up. I wonder if I should have force marched. Apparently so. I'll just hit here and besiege. That'll be my contribution. Then I'll bring this guy up here. Bohemia, knowledge sharing. Royal marriage with Denmark just ended. Oh, well, let's let's get it back. And they're far enough away that we're not really fighting over similar territory right now, but close enough that it does actually matter for warfare. That and France, like, it's kind of convenient in that aspect. Obviously, France, a, a little bit more important. No offense to any Danes out there, but it's the way this war is shaking out. There you go. You'll siege that. You'll do this. I expect some of these guys to maybe get separate pieced out here. Protestant zealots. Well, we're going to let them run around. That's for sure. Yeah, they've embraced as well. We've got a little bit of dudes in our territory over here. We could run the local defensiveness. No. Diplomatic advisor leaves court. Lose power. Da 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 da. Eh, I guess that's probably better. I don't know. We gotta hire someone else, but is that a problem? Not really. I don't think I don't want to spend that guy. He's too expensive. So we'll just get you for now. So they're all over the place here, but that's fine. They're really not going to cause too much in the way of problems. We've got positive war score, so we don't have to worry about anything going especially bad. Conversions are good. That's done. Um. I mean, technically I could go siege over here, but that seems a little bit crazy. Let's do something like that. We might get blocked by ships, but for now we're going to give it a try. You're done here, which is great. Now we've got to beat up Sweden a little bit. We're being blocked. 
Oh, probably somewhere where we want to... Yeah, right there. Where we want to siege. I was a little confused because of the bay there. Merchant spread thin... Oh, the Aleppo trade power doesn't matter. Okay, Teutonic Order was pieced out. Which I think is what I was... I don't know where I was sieging that, but okay. Our troops are still fine. Actually, you're not doing anything. Did I not click on you here? That's weird. You're definitely supposed to be sieging. Alright, both armies are busy. You're still doing trade. Hostile siege is over here. Not that they're sieging anything important, because there's no forts or anything. It's not going to cost anything in the way of war score. I mean, there's a, something to be said about having a fort in this area, just to, you know, auto desiege all this stuff and things, but I think we're okay. And these two overlap the similar areas, which I think this fort will go away. Technically, that will leave this exact province not covered by a fort, but... A lot of the, all the provinces that this covers, other than, I guess, Bekez over here, however it's supposed to be pronounced, um, every other province is covered by another fort, which is, which is handy. Not that our financial situation is bad right now. Okay, quick siege going on there, which is great. And we're sieging over here as well. Hey, again here, I thought I'd sent you to a place with a fort. But, I guess not. I don't know. Siege of Viborg is over... Yeah, we'll just go for, um, we'll just go for Stockholm. Age of Absolutism. There we go. All right. As governments wrest the absolute power in their countries from other parties, they are now able to devote themselves to the buildings of empires. This is the age of the state, of rulers, and their armies. So it enables the absolutism mechanic. So we see that uh, over here. So 83 is our max. We currently have zero, but it is going to go up currently. Um, yeah, it goes up a little bit on its own, and then there are things we can do to boost it, including things like harsh treatment, which is actually becomes a very enticing dump for military power now. Um, oh, we're going to cancel the Enforce Interfaith Dialogue. So we're just going to run the policies. Oh, that's a little annoying, but it's going to have to be okay. We're just, because you're going to bounce back. Uh, not very high, but you will bounce back. We're just going to run the policies that um, give us the monarch power. And we might go back to yoinking power from these guys as well. Even if it's going to cause um, a rebellion, we, assuming our troops are just sitting around ready to rebel bust, then that might be a good time for that. All right, you two are busy over here. We got a bunch of money, uh, which we could build. But again, I'm partially just waiting for the institutions to continue to spread a little bit. It's still taking a while. But yeah, we have a few neighboring provinces with it. And the percentage boost. Adjacent has global trade, loyal burgers. Yeah, we don't have the loyal burgers. Yeah, no, I guess that's that. So maybe we'll be able to get more of a discount, but I mean, I'm going to save up on this because I'm a little bit worried about capping out on that. Especially since we're not running our own war here. This is actually a pretty big war that uh, Norway pulled me into. Poland's getting it. Although that might help the spread over in the north. Because now technically... Uh, neighboring province. Well, I guess you don't actually have it. You have it in the country and it's embraced now. Yeah. Hmm. Still, I think it will in the long term accelerate it. And I could go and increase some local defensiveness over here, but... We'll keep the institution spread booster. Oh, someone's already moving there, so... I'll go down to Kalmar. We're getting a lot of attrition with this walk. Oh, someone's going to Kalmar as well. Well, I could just go here just to... Because I can probably give you more siege modifiers. Yeah, you don't have a siege leader. And this is the one with the four pips? Yeah. Or I'll go, I, maybe I will still go straight to Kalmar, because that's actually progressing pretty... Eh. I say pretty slowly, but it did just get a big tick. If I can get here before this tick, there we go. Huge... Uh, I think we got there maybe just after. We're being attrition here pretty heavily. Oh, 
Oh, that was, okay, our siege progress meter wasn't showing, but theirs was. Yeah, all right. God, that is, that was a lot of attrition we just took. I could probably just send my guys home at this point. But maybe I'll help you win this siege, and then I'll go and send everyone home. Oh, it's the Papal States up here. <laughs> I mean, I could clear some of this nonsense. But yeah, that should give you a, a big percentage boost. Rebel factions are okay. Big money. There you go. Siege done. Yeah, so you park there. Uh, that wasn't one, but theoretically still maybe helped progress it. I don't know, the walls are still up. I could... I'm not in command of the siege, so I can't command the bombardment. Okay. It's too bad. Could have spelled this, this, um, sped it up with a wall breach. But sure, don't let me use my cannons. I guess all of our allies are maxed out. That's okay to see. There you go. You're done. You're just going to come home. We've definitely helped to accelerate that war a lot, but we did spend... Okay. We did spend a lot of manpower and attrition there, which is non-ideal. Probably going to bounce back pretty quickly, especially if we're waiting a little bit more for the timing. Although, we're pretty ready to go here. So that actually was fairly costly. I should have managed that differently. Especially, you know, lots of winter fighting as well. But yeah, the war is going to end soon. Okay, let's just go to super fast mode over here. That Papal State's down here to help me desiege some stuff. That's very kind of them. There you go. Peace! Peace and favors. Now, hopefully France's indebtedness has gone down, because we're not we're not starting anything against the Ottomans without France. Reinforcements are all in place. Yes, they are. How's our military force limit? Not much higher than this. What I'll do is I'll probably just do this. That's going to be okay. Uh, Nitrin Separatists are brewing a little bit. What I might do... I could just prompt them to fire. That might be our best thing. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Provoke. They'll be stronger. That's going to be okay. We'll Insta-boop them. I might do the same thing to the Transylvanian Separatists. Uh, do I want to drill? I don't know if I do, because we might be starting pretty soon here. Venetian Separatists are pretty far away. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Run you over here. So let's take a look. Right now, if we were to do this, uh, no one's willing to jump in. That debt. Their manpower is not in great shape either. Lithuania is busy. Denmark, distant war. It's rude though. And great hordes busy too. Now, I suspect we'll be able to start something pretty quick. Again, I could still ask them to prepare for war. That's a little annoying, but I guess it's fine. What's our cap here? 1097. We do have to dump some admin. We could do a little bit of development somewhere, just arbitrarily. That might not be bad. Now, I might want to do a policy change, but if I were to look at... And that's what we currently have. I guess I can sort by um, development cost. And that's their total. And what I can do is look for things like this is a 7 over here. I'm just going to do that, bring it up to a 10. I know I'm not running the discount policy, but there you go. I'll do a couple of whacks of that, give us a little bit more breathing room in the admin. Ottomans declare one on the Mamluks. Now, the Mamluks are a little bit vulnerable. They don't have me as an ally. But this is... Huh. No, I want my own war so I can bring in my own allies. But this would be the ideal time to go. How close are we on these? Mm -hmm. 
zero close. That's how close we are. Crap. I guess I'm off all the forts for now, and I guess we're gonna drill on both these things for now. Ugh. I really do want to bring in some extra people on this. Lithuania, how you doing there in your war? You attacked someone and now you're getting your ass kicked. So, you know, well done. Well done, Lithuania. Uh, syncretism, tolerance, true faith, clergy, more missionary strength. None of these actually matter. Okay. Now, I could consider other war declarations. Maybe, maybe that's the thing to do. The Ottomans aren't quite approachable right now. I don't have a truce against Austria. France would jump in now if I promised them stuff. Austria wouldn't jump in over here. And we do have, still have a truce for Bohemia, but it is interesting because otherwise we'd still be able to just take them. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I do want to embrace soon. Unless I just do another round. Of, well, no, because it's so expensive. Actually, embracing is not going to save us from being ahead. We really are going to be spending a lot more here. Again, I should be discounting things, but... Um, wine's worth maybe more. Maybe I'll do... Well, we're just still ahead on admin. How come you're yellow? Trade good prices are currently down. And you... Not as good. You might have a cultural mismatch over there, which is why you're yellow. Ooh, hot chocolates. Mmm. Delicious. Disloyal estates, I know the burgers are cranky as shit. Which hurts our development costs as well. I guess I could. Hang on. Let's summon. Which might fix the burgers. Not quite, but... Production of nine... And Hearts of Govina, which is over here. It produces wool. It's not very valuable. Nobility wanted what? They want me to own a place. Uh-huh. Or, oh, just insult the the uh, Ottomans. Cool. Well, that was easy. Didn't quite fix this, but... It brings us closer to the 30, which will also fix that. So that's at least something. Um, they're slandering my merchants. That's very rude of them. I don't appreciate that. France is debt, man. And yeah, two of my buddies are in another war. Or in other wars, I should say. France is deeply in debt. And uh, Lithuania might not be super eager to do this either. Okay, let's take a second. Any chance we can get a useful ally? Well, I mean, the Mamluks still want to join us. We'd be able to join in this war, but I don't think there's much point in doing that. I think that would work out poorly for us. I mean, we could consider Tunis. Tuscany has some possibilities. I mean, we are... Oh, hold on. I got to cancel military access with Brandenburg. Who I could just ally. But yeah, we are we are one over our relationship slot now. We would be two over if I did grab another ally. Hmm. Hmm. If they, they would have too many relationships already. That is still kind of interesting, though. Obviously, put some conflicts between them, like with Lithuania, but that is actually interesting to consider. Eh. 
The country's here. The country situation here is kind of interesting. You know, we could just casually just conquer Afghanistan. I hear that's really easy to do, you guys. Man, France, I don't know why you haven't, like, done more over here. It's a little bit interesting. I guess Brittany is allied to uh, England and Castile. That's not going to help there. Um, I guess we'll just take the Diplo power hit. Just because we can't, we're not really in a position to tech anyway. Hmm. Yeah, this would really be an ideal time to war. Bohemia, we still have that truce. Austria. Oh, France would jump in against Austria. I could just do that. Maybe we just do this. I mean, we still have aggressive expansion to worry about. And the whole thing with going south is that it gives us a different pool. Or, what if I try... I have to get dudes on boats. But Crimea? AQ? Or Tributary of the Great Horde. Which, maybe? Well, the Great Horde's currently busy. And be able to walk through this area. Um, well, no, not exactly. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I guess I gotta put in a cut here. I don't actually know... What we're going to do war-wise. But it kind of feels like the thing to do, doesn't it? The absolutism slowly ticking up. I guess my military, I could hit the strength in government. Um, but, I mean, we've got, we've got the legitimacy, but it would give us the absolutism. I don't know if that's a good way to invest things, though. Um, we did some of the harsh treatment before, yes. We could decrease autonomy in places that could take it. I wonder if there's any chance. Yeah, I should actually do... Maybe not everywhere just because of rebellion. Well, this is super stable right now, but eventually it'll wear off. I don't know. That was actually quite nice. I forget it gives a discipline bonus as well. I always think of it as a source of administrative efficiency. But yeah. That's actually fairly convenient for us. Um, and if I wanted more manpower, like more of these soldiers' households would be nice. I'm just banking for now on the institution. It would be nice if it spread to a few places. But again, even if I embrace the institution, we're so far ahead here, that's not really what we're doing. Okay, you know what? I will go... Let me check valuable manufactories. Frick it, one more. Done. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I can always take out turbo loans from the uh, burgers if I really do feel like I need a bit of a boost. Um, but yeah, right now we're going to have to keep dumping these points into some, some just development places. Just keep getting a few places up to 10 just to open up an extra building slot. Um, theoretically, what I should do is, in as many places as possible, cal cal or concentrate in one category. That way, it'll either be a really good place to put down a barracks. Oh, that's not the barracks button, but um, this would be the, the training fields over here, which obviously there's some good ones. Maybe some decent taxation centers, maybe some good production centers. All those things will make sense if we do focus on that. Um, and it's not so bad. It'd be nice if... Uh, okay, the burgers are chill again, so we're not getting the 5% extra penalty anymore. So at least there's that. And yeah, at some point, I might be perfectly happy to just keep seizing some land and deal with the rebellion. In fact, maybe I'll do it now. We got nothing else going on. Why not? I wonder how big the rebellions are. That is something I don't actually know. Rebels may rise up if any of the states drop below 30. If I did this, we'd actually get both nobility and burger rebels. And potentially Cossack rebels. So... I don't know. That might be that might be unbearable. I'm not sure. 
and we do control a lot of the land ourselves and we do get some nice bonuses from having you know some of these things positive i mean the clergy is giving us tons of tax dollars right now um what am i running on my policy again what did i add in oh yeah the man power recovery speed which turns out we're actually getting a fair amount of value out of so i'm happy we switched to that because we have not hit the cap since turning to that so that's at least something how's our trade power in venice 45 percent all right looking good folks i'm gonna put a cut in here and figure out something with war after this Bye-bye.